The exhibition circuit for me was when I'd done it with the late, great Alex Hurricane Higgins. Yeah. They were electric them nights, you know, you could come and play Higgins in an exhibition. It was like playing in the final of a ranking tournament, yeah. you know, it was, he would try and murder you on the table, so you, you had your wits about you, and uh, I loved the exhibition circuit. I actually love the buzz of playing, I love meeting the people and uh, you play some good players as well, you know, I often go to some exhibitions and I don't pot a ball for three <laughs> frames. You know, I just, uh, I, I love the exhibition side of it, you know, and I do a lot with John Virgo where he yeah, sort of, he commentates and yeah. takes the piss out of everyone. <laughs> There's quite a few players in London, yeah. I can play Anthony Hamilton, I can go over and play. Trump, O'Sullivan in Essex, so I thought I'd just get myself out there this year and see how that goes. Um, my first one was actually was with Alex Hurricane Higgins, I was 13, and I played in one frame in my dad's working man's club, which he got paid 90 quid for the night, and uh, he tried to chat my sister up, and my brother wanted to kill him, and when you meet your heroes and something like that happens, but yeah, yeah. lucky enough, because um, I was in awe, this spotty little kid in awe, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. my brother sort of let it go, you know. Right. You being a snooker player, you'd understand I was just a mad potter. Yeah. And from the age of sort of nine, I made a hundred break at 13. O'Sullivan had a maximum at 13. Right. But when I made my first hundred break at 13, it was in the Daily Mirror because it was unheard of, yeah. you know, with the old balls and that. But I was just a potter, I just used to go for my shots. Yeah, I just wanted to pot balls, you know, and the idea of playing safe and letting someone else have a shot didn't come into it for me. Because you've given me this free uh, video uh, dialogue, I'm going to tuck you up. I'm going to play safe. You're getting zero. I, I loved Manchester. When I was 20, I lived in Presswich for a year and yeah, yeah. was playing Potters in Salford. Yeah. And Dennis Hughes used to be there, Paul Madarty. Yeah. This before he had Masters. Um, yeah. uh, Virgo used to play in there and Alex Higgins. So I used to come down from London on the Monday morning and play and the Potter's nightclub, uh, Potter's Snoop Club, yeah. it doubled up for a nightclub at four o'clock in the morning for all the croupiers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So with the croupiers come, you know, the gangsters, the police, yeah. the actors, the footballers, you know, so yeah. it was like unbelievable. Yeah. You know, I'd gone from like, you know, like being becoming a little bit famous, all of a sudden living a bit of fame in Manchester. People like Alex Higgins, Ken Doherty would come over from Ireland and yeah. go to places like Manchester because they're a hot bed of snooker. Years ago, every Burton's uh, clothes shop had a snooker club above it. it was like, uh, there was like something like 70 odd in the country. So every major city probably had three or four Burton's which had 60 to 80 tables, so I think that's why you've got all the great players. So I think if you've got any good players who are coming out of the UK, they've got to watch the DVDs, watch the old matches, yeah. but you've got to have the passion for the game, yeah. and you've got to be want to be world champion, otherwise there's no point in playing.